Assalamu alaikum indulgers, let's prepare some grilled steak, couscous stir fry and potatoes. Into a mixing bowl, I'm adding my T-bone steaks followed by some Maggi Aroma liquid seasoning, about a teaspoon. Next, I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce, about the same amount, a teaspoon and a half, thereabout, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika, followed by a teaspoon of mixed herbs. Next, I'm adding some all-purpose seasoning mix. You can substitute this for chicken stock cubes or bouillon. Into that same bowl, I'm going to add some dried peanut butter, about a tablespoon's worth. You can also use some regular peanut butter. Next, I'm adding a teaspoon of chili powder, followed by my homemade ginger and garlic paste, about a teaspoon of that, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. To bring it all together, I'm going to add some olive oil and give the meat a good massage until all the ingredients are well incorporated. So while the meat rests, let's prepare our couscous stir fry. Into my wok, I've added about a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to follow up with a tablespoon of olive oil as well. Next, I'm adding my sliced onions followed by some garlic and ginger paste as well as some chopped up chilies. I've used petit bell peppers and these are known as papashito here in Ghana. It gives a really nice fragrance. So next, I'm adding my sliced carrots as well. And I'm going to stir fry this for about a minute or two before going ahead to add some homemade chicken stock. I'm adding three tablespoons of chicken stock. You can substitute this with an actual chicken stock cube if you don't have some stock available. So go ahead and continue to allow it to simmer for about a minute before adding a teaspoon of turmeric powder to the mixture. Turmeric powder is going to give it a beautiful color as well as taste. I'm also adding some mild chili flakes as well, about a teaspoon of that, just to give it some additional heat. So here is some couscous that we have soaked in tap water for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is going to speed up the cooking process. You will only need to steam it for about two to three minutes before it is done and light and airy. By pre-soaking your couscous, you're going to avoid any clumpy and mushy couscous. The goal is to have couscous that is separated and very, very fluffy. So yes, our couscous is just about done. As you can see, it is completely separated and it's ready for us to plate. So in the meantime, let's prepare our steak. So onto my cast iron grill pan, I'm gonna add some olive oil, preheat it before adding my steak. I like my steak to be well cooked. I'm not a rare or medium rare kind of girl. <laughs> so you go ahead and cook your steak according to your own preference. Onto a separate skillet, I'm going to add some olive oil in there and some potatoes, which I have pre-cooked in some salt water. In they go, and I'm gonna add some dry thyme, give it a few minutes to fry and to gain some color and some level of crispiness. Toss in some chopped spring onions and our potatoes should be ready to plate. At this point, our steak is grilling nicely. I'm going to flip it after cooking it for about 10 minutes on one side. I'm not a rare or medium rare kind of girl, so I like my steak well cooked, but please take the time to cook it to your desired tastes. And with the aid of a cast iron skillet, I'm going to add a bit more pressure onto the steak to enable it to cook a bit faster. I can't believe it's already the last 10 days of Ramadan. SubhanAllah, this one has gone really, really quickly. May Allah accept our prayers and our good deeds and we find Laylatul Qadr inshallah. inshallah. So plate the steak on top of your bed of couscous and potatoes and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and Barakamurasham Ruah.